Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Ethan Peck from Star Trek, Strange New World on Spock's comedic adventure in Star Trek, Strange New Worlds. Ethan Peck was the famous half-human, half-Vulcan science officer of the Enterprise, Spock, but in the final episode of Season 2 of Strange New World S Charades, Spock's Vulcan DNA becomes more confused by a group alien removed. The result is hilarious, and allows Peck to indulge in an over-the-top acting skill, rarely seen in the character of Spock. We chatted with Peck about finally being able to play a version of Mr. Spock, that was less about it logic, it is more about an oversized youth, nerdist. There is always at least one episode of every classic Trek series that feels like a sitcom. And now this season it is up to Spock to take center stage. How did it feel felt like engaging in the comedic aspects of Star Trek, that your character doesn't have much time to do? Or really ever, Ethan Peck? It was so funny and terrifying and intimidating, because I think it is so far-fetched and so risky. And I remember reading the script and thinking, no way, that is crazy. And I personally love that acting style, which I think is comedic, silly, and goofy. I think a lot of my friends find it hilarious that I play the role of Spock, because they know what a weird jerk I am. Which Spock hides under the Vulcan facade, right? He is just a weird, goofy, amazed person who wants to be amused and entertained. In this episode, without his Vulcan half, Spock resembles a teenager going through puberty. He is angry, he is sad. He feels helpless. He is hungry all the time among other things. Was this episode one of the most liberating for you as an actor, having played a Vulcan with suppressed emotions since Discovery S. Sophomore year? Peck. Oh yes, absolutely. For me as an actor, playing Spock is definitely the most liberating role. Because he is usually on rails all the time. The way he speaks is rhythmic, musical and efficient. The way he speaks is brilliant too. It is really difficult as an actor, so it was definitely very liberating. 